Hey Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast for July 8th through the 14th. We're continuing with our Pretty Little Mermaid theme here and our Mermaid Ocean themed cards. We're going to see what's coming up in the week ahead and I'm going to pull a healing message for you from a healing oracle after we take a look at these cards here. Let's see what's coming up for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising for the week ahead. One more little shuffle here. Alrighty. Alright, Virgo. Let's see? Something's wrong with my hands today. Alright. Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Alright. Let's get into it. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, Virgo. So you're starting off the week with some positive energy. Okay, this is great. The thing that I love about the wheel is over the years as a reader, I've found that typically the wheel comes up at a time when something is becoming unstuck. Like maybe you were having a stagnant period or maybe it's not necessarily that your life was stagnant. It could just be that one situation seemed to refuse to move forward or one situation seemed to be blocked and now all of a sudden it's lifting and it's moving forward and it's just gonna go and keep picking up momentum and just you know getting faster and faster and easier and easier and just kind of moving along the great thing also about the wheel is that it is a major arcana card so major arcana cards come up when we're at a really significant crossroads in our life that has to do with something we were meant to master, something we were meant to learn in this lifetime, uh, you know, some kind of life purpose or life lesson situation. And guys, life lesson doesn't necessarily mean it's something negative. You know, life lesson, there's, there's some lessons we've come here to learn in a very positive way. You know, some people have come here to learn how to be happy. Some people have come here to learn how to be successful and independent. Some people have come here uh, to learn uh, how to really express themselves and, and live their life as their true selves for once. So, you know, a, a, a lesson is not synonymous with sadness or suffering. And sometimes people make that mistake. But the major arcana cards come up when they're like, hey, you know, this is what you came here to do. This is what you came here to master. This is what you came here to accomplish. This is what you came here to learn. And this is the crossroads where you are being placed on the path to make it happen. All right. So something very big is shifting for you in the beginning of the week in the Monday, Tuesday. Those fish are really kind of jumping out at me, too. So it does kind of feel to me like uh, there's some fish coming in, some options coming in for some of you, wherever you've been the hungriest in life, whether it's been in your finances or in your love life or in friendships or in creativity, whatever it, it may have been, uh, you're going to be fed. You're going to have uh, this abundant inflow coming in for you as things are moving forward. Okay, so very, very powerful uh, message for you in that way. A uh, very powerful energy coming for you in the beginning of the week in that way. We are going to see your Wednesday, Thursday here. Ooh. I love the um, the kings in this deck. The kings in this deck are fierce. And as always, I've got the, the um, deck info listed in the description for those of you who are curious about the decks as I am. So you've got King of Cups here, right? So this is water sign energy. So some of you may be dealing with a masculine water sign and I say a masculine water sign simply because the king is masculine energy but it doesn't always mean that you're dealing with a, a, a man you know because we all have masculine and feminine traits and qualities right there are some women that have a lot of masculine energy there are some men that have a lot of feminine energy where we're, we we are each composed of masculine and feminine and some of us have one higher than the other or one more than the other so um a masculine water sign energy or it could be you if you have 
water in your moon or in your rising but typically the king of cups is going to be somebody who's coming in uh, who can be very generous but also very cautious or maybe not cautious is the word but uh but like um careful who they're being generous with or generous towards so some of you may be on the receiving end of this generosity but it may be coming with some kind of strings attached okay so some of you are moving forward and it could be because some king of cups is coming in and making this happen king of cups for me is sometimes like a like like a fatherly energy as well so for some of you it could be an actual father who's stepping in um or somebody who is assuming like a father role within their own family and so they may feel that you all can work together and do something beneficial but at the end of the day king of cups is looking out for him and for his family so you know, he's not just going to be generous for no reason. There's going to be something in it for him. So there could be some kind of agreement that you are being made or some kind of assistance that's coming your way in terms of uh, investment or a business loan or going into a partnership together. But King of Cups is definitely going to have some terms and some agreements and, and like how things are going to be repaid or how things are going to be done or how things are going to be handled. Some of you may be coming into making long-term plan making long-term plans with a person in terms of relationship if you are married or you're with somebody who is like a, a husband to you you know king of cups to me is is like the husband card father card like head of the household kind of card and some people are gonna get mad at me for saying head of the household because some people say women can be the head of the household i'm talking about a traditional sense you know or, you know, if you are male or identify as male, you may be stepping into that King of Cups energy. I mean, look how fierce he is. Like, he looks like a nice guy. He looks like somebody that, you know, you'd want to sit down and hang out with and maybe have a beer with or something. But definitely also looks like somebody you wouldn't like to cross either, you know. So um, some of you are coming into that energy. You're coming into that energy of, you know, being very firm with your generosity. Now, Virgo, some of you are coming into success because that wheel is turning. So you're going to have to come into that King of Cups energy where you can be very generous and you can be very giving, but you're also going to be very cautious and very careful about it, you know? And it just made me laugh because typically when king of cups comes up i i'll say something like oh he's very generous he's very giving but you know he's not going to give down to his last penny he's not gonna maybe take you know give you the shirt off his back that's typically something i say with king of cups and this king of cups isn't wearing a shirt so <laughs> i can't really say that for him um that's why i'm laughing it just kind of made me laugh but you know so you're coming into that energy yourself maybe in the past it's been hard for you to have boundaries you know and i feel virgo some of you have had a hard time with finances for this reason you know and i've said this in other readings sometimes when we're waiting for a financial blessing to come in or a really big break to come in it doesn't come in until we learn not to give so much of it away because our angels and guides might know but there's a lot of people around us that this as soon as they get a hint that we're doing well they're going to come with their hands out and there's nothing wrong with helping people but you also don't want to be in a situation where you're just you can't say no and you're giving and giving and giving and giving and giving and then ending up with nothing you know what's the point of giving you the blessing if people are going to gather around like these little vultures and snatch it away from you so you're coming into this king of cups energy where you're learning to be generous you're learning to be giving but you're also very firm in when and how and how much you give, right? You're able to say no when necessary. That smoke just blew over his confirmation. So then, my darlings, your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday card. You have got, ooh, two of cups. Virgo, look at that. Look at that lovely energy there. So uh, two of cups to me is soulmate love right two of cups for me is kind of the perfect kind of connection so now if you're single and you've been single for a long time yeah you know maybe some of you friday saturday and sunday you're meeting your two of cups it can be happening that instantaneously for some of you 
For other ones of you, it's more of an energy shift or something the seed is being planted that's going to lead you to your Two of Cups, especially if you've been single for a long time, okay? Uh, other ones of you, uh, you are maybe already in the relationship and you're realizing you're coming into Two of Cups relationship or the relationship's taking the next step. Now, the thing for me when Two of Cups comes up, it's usually a card that lets us know that it's a very healthy love. You're coming out of any kind of codependent um, uh, habits or, or, or cycles or anything like that. And you're really learning to have a very equal love, an equal partnership. I'm hearing some of you are perfecting your communication. Um, I, I'm hearing some of you maybe in the past, like in your relationships, there have been like screaming matches or it's been like hard to communicate without shouting or yelling or like when you get upset like it's been hard to like express yourself without that in this relationship you're you're solving that you're learning to communicate more effectively you're learning to talk things out without it escalating into having to raise your voice or shouting or things like that i think for some of you this is very important because you kind of grew up in a home where there was a lot of yelling and you've always told yourself well i don't want to get married or i don't want to have a relationship if i'm going to be fighting all the time and you know i don't i don't want to be in a house where there's going to be yelling and so maybe you've been very selective about who you've been with and so a lot of you are manifesting this relationship now where things are going to be very uh, calm very like you're going to be able to talk things out without you know losing your head or you you can kind of talk through disagreements without it getting too heated uh and two of cups obviously is also very very romantic energy very romantic energy some of you might be planning some kind of a little getaway to celebrate whatever this good fortune is that seems to be coming in in the beginning of the week. Now, those of you who watch my videos regularly, you know I don't focus too much on love in the weekly forecasts because I like to keep those very separate. Uh, but if you do want to get more about the love info for July for Virgo, you can click on the link and check that out. The link is in the description for the love videos. Uh, but overall, guys, lots of lots of positive movement coming in for Virgo in the beginning of the week. And it does feel to me for you guys, it, it does feel to me like it's mostly having to do with like career advancement and um, your your abundance and things coming in in terms of abundance or just getting unstuck in life, getting unstuck in life. And, you know, when we're having issues with career or finances, a lot of the times it's the root chakra and so the root chakra can also be connected sometimes to relationships so it's not uncommon that if we're having problems in one we're having problems in the other or when one gets unstuck the other gets unstuck not uncommon at all we're gonna see what your healing message is for the week and again guys here as i'm shuffling your healing message i invite you remind you again to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos because some weeks those may resonate more or sometimes what happens is they just kind of bring in a little extra information and they make the general readings a little bit more personal because you get a little bit more of your specific energy or planetary makeup. Oh my god, I just got chills. I love it when this happens. So not a whole lot that you have to do in terms of healing this week virgo other than to just keep going what did i say with that wheel card that came up you guys were stuck for a very long time and all of a sudden things are beginning to move forward some of you in one area you were very stuck and so your healing action for the week is going to be forward movement keep going don't slow down go with this some of you are like wow like this is really it's going from zero to 60 pretty fast just keep going keep rolling with the the blessings that are coming in the opportunities that are coming in because you're getting unstuck in a very very fast way it kind of makes me feel like um there's this movie called big fish um, which is really cute. It's a it's a Tim Burton movie, and there's this like one scene where the guy happens to see the woman that he's like meant to marry. Like it's like love at first sight, right? And everything freezes, but then when it gets unfrozen, it's like well, you know, when time freezes, what happens? It has to move real fast to catch up again, and it's a silly little part in the movie, and so everybody's going in fast forward. 
Um, and that's kind of what I saw for you, Virgo. Like you've been stuck, like things have been frozen for a while. And then you have this moment of all of a sudden you see this, this light coming in. You see this hope coming in. It's here in front of you. And then it's going to unfreeze and it's going to be time to go. But it's going in fast forward. It's like going very, very fast. And so this is saying keep moving with it. Keep moving with it. That butterfly is speaking transformation for me. You know, um, it's like, you know, you, these transformations are happening. These big changes are happening. They're positive changes. But for Virgo, it might feel like it's coming out of nowhere or it might feel like it's just coming very suddenly and moving very fast. And this is asking you to go with it, to go with it, to just keep moving forward. And, you know, don't sabotage it. Don't stop yourself. All right, my darlings. So again, moon sign, rising sign videos can be very, very helpful. You might need a private reading. I'm more than happy to do that. If you click on the Calendly link in the description of the video, it will take you to schedule a reading with me. Um, and also, my darlings, um, on the social media, in between the videos, a lot of you have been, you know, a lot of new people came and supported me this past week on Instagram and Facebook by liking, sharing, commenting, following. Um, there's a card of the day. So I do a daily card, a daily message, and I do a daily pick a card game. A lot of people have been having fun playing the pick a card game on there during uh, during the week every single day as well. So again, I invite you to take advantage of that as well um, on Facebook and Instagram, Amethyst Angelite. And uh, I thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing on the videos. And I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead.